Today is the day for your miracle. The day for your healing. And the day for your deliverance. I praise the Lord you are there today. The heavens will open. Like rain, power will flow down. And drop on everyone without exception. As we come together for this possibilities of faith in Christ's crusade. Everything you brought, problems, heartache, mountain, pain, impossibilities, everything will be turned around. And there will be miracle, deliverance, salvation in every life. Tonight is your night. Who am I talking to there? It's coming your way. It will land on you. It will land on your family. And every part of your life will experience the mighty, powerful signs and wonders, miracles in Jesus' name. You've heard testimonies already. And everything you've heard that happened to other people, more, multiplied, will come upon every life tonight. Here at the Alpha location and everywhere online, wherever we're connected, the power of the Lord will be connected with your life. You will never be the same again in Jesus name Father we come with all honor and respect adoration and worship unto you we know you cannot fail you will not fail for all these people your creatures your children the men the women we know you're going to send forth your power into every life yeah. salvation for everyone yeah. healing for everyone yeah. deliverance for everyone yeah. the mighty power of god manifested in every life even tonight in jesus name yeah. you'll be glorified in every life and every request we make, every prayer we pray, answer will come from heaven. Thank you, Lord, because we know it is none. In Jesus' name we pray. A good, good amen before you sit down. God bless you. You can sit down. And I welcome everyone to the taste of the miracle power of the Lord. Tonight, as we begin this epoch-making GCK special August in Delta State here, I believe that the Word of God will work its wonders in your life. Tonight, I'm talking to you on the undeniable possibilities of thy faith in Christ. The word undeniable, something clear, something visible, something that comes to you, that even the people that see you, they cannot deny a miracle has happened in your life salvation in your life healing in your life deliverance in your life undeniable and then it says possibilities for your sins to be forgiven that's possible tonight salvation tonight that's possible healing that's possible tonight and deliverance from every yoke broken and from every evil power, evil spirit, everything taken away tonight, possibilities in your life. 
Amen. Amen. And then it says, because of thy faith. Thy faith. You see the people I'm going to talk to you about in the Bible. They had their personal faith. They came with their personal faith. They came with the expectation that they're coming to Christ. And because there's no respecter of persons that with everyone, he manifests his power, he manifests his miracle, and you have that faith, you have that confidence, you have that trust in the Lord, that tonight you are here for the Lord, and the Lord is here for you. I said the Lord is here for you. And when you have that personal faith, positive faith, practical faith in the Lord, that you know, my faith, with my faith I come. With my trust in the Lord I come. And I am going to receive. If no other person receives tonight, I will receive. I will receive the undeniable possibilities of thy faith in Christ. Turn your Bible to Mark chapter 9, reading from verse 23. Jesus said unto him, if you were there, that's exactly what he's going to say now. It's exactly what he will say to you. Jesus said, Unto him, if you were coming to Christ and you had tears, you had sorrow, you had pain, you had pressure, you have attacks, you have affliction, what Jesus said unto him, exactly what he will say to you, because he is the same yesterday and today and forever. Our Jesus, Savior, Lord, has not changed. He says the same thing. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, that what thou means to you, if you can believe, all things are possible for him to him that believeth. And Christ is there by your side tonight. Christ is in front of you there tonight. You're lying down paralyzed. You're lying down impotent. You're lying down and you cannot get up. It's by your side there tonight. And he says unto you, Hey, you can believe. Thank, thank God you believe. I believe. If thou canst believe all things, are possible to him, to her, that believeth. Now, how do I have that faith? Because I know everything I get from the Lord, the forgiveness, the freedom, the salvation, the healing, the deliverance, the miracle, everything I get from the Lord comes through that faith. That's why he said, if you can only believe all things are possible to him, to you, to her that believes. How do I get that faith? In Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So then, faith cometh by hearing. What you are hearing brings faith. The word that comes to you, it was assurance. The words that come to you with testimony the words that come to you with the fire look at what christ did before look at what he's still doing today and look at what he has promised he's going to do and as you accept that as you believe that as you rest on that as you lean on that you're not leaning on your feeling i feel pain no problem i feel i'm sick no problem but the words you hear and those words bring trust and confidence and it brings assurance and you come to the lord and you say lord i am here i believe faith cometh 
by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The word of God will produce faith in every heart tonight in Jesus' name. As you combine those two things together, you are hearing the word of God brings faith in your heart and you also have the belief that tonight is my night. If you can only believe, believe that tonight a miracle will land at your doorstep. There are three things we're looking at. Number one, we're looking at incredible healing possible through thy faith. Thy faith. The faith you have. The confidence you have that God is able. He says, I am God, I change not. God will not change at your own time. Yeah. When you offer your prayer to the Lord, he will not say, I have changed now. No, he will not change. When you make your prayer, he has always answered other people. He will answer your prayer. And look at Mark. I'm reading here from uh, sorry, number two. Thank you. Number two is the impaired sight. Perfected through thy faith. You cannot see very well. Now, at the end of the meeting, after prayer, one, your sight will come. Dimness will vanish away. Because impaired sight, blind eyes, cataract, glaucoma, whatever else they call the name tonight, at the mention of the name of Jesus, you are going to receive your sight in Jesus' name. Number three, instantaneous salvation possible through thy faith everything is through thy faith the healing through thy faith the sight through thy faith the removal of every pain every sickness ulcer cancer everything removed all by faith and the joy of salvation the victory is salvation the righteousness that comes with salvation all that by faith instantaneous salvation amen. amen possible we don't have to you know i'm being born again when a child is born the child is born not that today the leg comes out tomorrow another part comes out and for one month, the child is being gradually born. No, the same thing will have been born again. He acts immediately. He forgives your sin immediately. And at the moment of time, the moment you repent and the moment you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be your Savior, instantaneously that salvation comes to you instantaneous salvation possible through thy faith let's come to number one number one we're looking at incredible healing surprising healing great healing a kind of healing you see it's almost unbelievable look at the way i was and look at the way i am now and the lord touches you tonight transforms your life and everything that you have been carrying like sickness like flow of blood everything will vanish away in jesus name in mark chapter 5 verse 34 it says he said unto her daughter thy faith look at that that's the word again thy faith thy faith has made thee whole go in peace and be whole of thy plague no plague anymore no pain anymore no issue of blood anymore because your faith attracts and draws miracle from heaven daughter any lady there tonight 
any mother there tonight anyone carried problem here tonight you will not carry the problem back home daughter thy faith has made thee whole go in peace and behold of thy plague. I read that to you to tell you. That was the conclusion as the woman came to the Lord. Let me read the story to you now. In Mark chapter 5 verse 25 and a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years 12 years problem will vanish away here tonight. 20 years problem will vanish away here to 40 years problem sickness infirmity will get away from your life here tonight in jesus name share the issue of blood for 12 years look at verse 26 in verse 26 it says and yet she had suffered many things of many physicians and uh, had spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grew worse for those 12 years he had gone to this physician dr a and then when that did not work had gone to dr b when that did not work had gone to dr c she had gone to the regular orthodox doctors when that did not work for her she went traditional and everything failed but she did not give up she said one day one day i will be free and your own day has come i've gone here i've gone there I've gone overseas, I've come back, I've looked at everything, and I ate everything they told me to eat. I swallowed everything they told me to swallow. I drank everything they told me to drink, and yet there was no solution. Thank God tonight, you have come to the final place. Solution has come. Healing has come deliverance has come and we're told in verse 27 verse 27 when she had heard of jesus i told you i told you she heard of jesus and what she heard brought faith in her heart faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of god she heard of jesus then she came in the press behind. She took action on what she had heard. You know many people here, but thank God you heard that here we're going to have the possibilities of faith in Christ. And when you heard, you said, I'll be there. And you are here. That's your faith. I say that's your faith. And that faith will carry miracle home. That faith will carry healing home. It says she came in the press behind and touched his garment. There were many people there. Peter was there. He didn't go to touch Peter's garment. John was there. James was there. He didn't go to touch, you know, their garment. And Matthew was there. Mary the mother was there, but she knew the virtue of healing is coming from Christ, not from man, not from woman. So she went to the source of the miracle. Jesus is the source of her miracle. Jesus is the source of her healing. Jesus is the source of your deliverance. And so she went straight to the source of the miracle. She came from behind and touched his garment. In verse 28, verse 28, for she said, she said, who did she say that to, to herself? You talk to yourself and you say, when I hear the final amen, I'm healed. And it will be unto you according to your faith. 
when we finish and you say you want to be saved you want your sins forgiven raise up your hand i'm going to raise up my hand and when they pray that the lord shall forgive me i believe that time they mention the name of jesus the savior i will be saved you say it for yourself and there's no shadow of doubt Will I be saved? Will I not be saved? No, that's not faith. Will I be healed? Will I not be healed? No, that will not be faith. You say to yourself, like she said to herself, If I may but touch, I don't need to pull his garment, I only touch. And that touch will bring an explosion of miracle in my life. Amen. Amen. If I may but touch his clothes, I, I, I shall be whole. Look at verse 29. In verse 29, and straightway, somebody says straightway. Straight what does that mean? Immediately. Shout immediately. Yeah. Immediately you'll hear the name of Jesus pronounced against your predicament. Straightway, immediately, instantaneously. It says, the fountain. Of her blood was dried up. Cancer cells were dry up. Yeah. Ulcer were dry up. Yeah. That swelling, that tumor will dry up. Yeah. And everything you have carried, you know, they didn't know it was a fibroid. They thought it was pregnancy. Nine months gone, ten months gone, one year gone, and the tumor is still there. The fibroid is still there tonight. That fibroid will go away. It says straightway, the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague your own time has come you'll be healed it will deliver you how will that deliverance come look at james chapter 5 verse 15 in james chapter 5 verse 15 and the prayer of faith that's the only kind of prayer we pray in the GCK. We don't pray, pray, pray of unbelief. The only kind of prayer we pray in the crusade is the prayer of faith. We don't pray the prayer of doubting, the prayer of maybe, the prayer of perhaps, the prayer of what if it does not happen. No, we don't pray that kind of prayer here. What kind of prayer are we pray tonight? What kind of prayer am I praying for you? Yeah. And it says, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. Amen. Yeah. The Lord who has not deceived us, the Lord who always does what he says because he means what he says, and he says what he means, and it says the Lord shall raise him up and if he has committed sins they shall be forgiven him somebody shout amen, amen. then it says in verse 16 in verse 16 it says confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed did you hear that? It says confess. Then it says that she may be healed. That's why when I finish preaching, I say you want your sins to be forgiven. You want your sins to be taken away. Raise up your hand. We do that first so that sin will not block your miracle. Sin will not block my miracle. Say it well. Uh, when somebody has sin and he covers it up when somebody has stealing theft covetousness adultery fornication drunkenness when somebody has smoking smoking weed 
smoking Indian hemp, smoking cigarette, and it covers that up. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me, but will not cover up sin. He that confesses and forsaketh a sin, he that comes before the Lord and he says, I'm not just like the Pharisee will say, Zacchaeus is a sinner. That one is a sinner. And the Pharisees, that's why they never had salvation. They didn't confess their own sin. They were confessing the sins of other people. But when you come and you say, be merciful unto me, a sinner, and you acknowledge your sin, and you confess your sin, and you confess all the powers of darkness that you have been getting into. He that confesses and forsaketh the sin. You don't only confess and then go back there, go back to the lying, go back to the deception, go back to the fornication, go back to the adultery. No, you confess and you forsake, and you say, I was like that. But from tonight, no more. Amen. Amen. That's why Jesus told that woman, go and sin no more. You know, if, uh, you know, here we just come, I have sinned, I've done evil. I don't think so, I shouldn't have done. And then after saying that, we go back to that same thing. There's no salvation there. Getting angry and fighting. Oh Lord, I'm sorry, I'm violent, I'm an angry man, angry woman. And then saying that, we go back to it, there's no salvation there. It is those who confess, those who forsake, and they say, by your grace, by the cleansing of the blood of the Lamb, I will no more do that, then the Lord will forgive you. Say good day, amen. And then the power that breaks that yoke of sin comes into your life and things are different now. That's why it says, it shall be forgiven. And then it says, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The prayer we pray tonight will avail very much. Will avail for you will avail for her, will avail for everyone, because we come, we're asking in faith, and we have the possible, the incredible healing made possible by thy faith. Have you noticed that in Mark chapter 5, Actually, if I started there, Jesus said, virtue is gone out of me. What healed the woman is the virtue that went out of him. And Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him. It was that virtue that brought the healing and you know the virtue is still available today in Second Peter chapter 1. I'm reading there from verse 3. Second Peter chapter 1. We're looking at verse 3. According as his divine power. He has given unto us all things. He has given unto us how many things? He has given unto us how many things? Salvation is there. All things. Forgiveness there, all things. Freedom from sin, all, all things. And the authority to conquer every evil, all things. Healing, all things. Deliverance, all things. It says, He has given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and to virtue. Virtue. He has called us to glory. When he, when he saves us, he calls us not to do disgraceful things anymore, dirty things anymore, 
speak those defiling things anymore or present her body for fleshly sinful practice anymore he calls us by his grace and he calls us to glory and he calls us to virtue look at verse 4 in verse 4 it says whereby a giving unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature when he says us he takes the nature of satan away from us the nature of the natural people in the world he takes that away from us and he gives us now the divine nature if any man be in christ he is a new creature give me a good amen there old things are passed away amen and all things I become new because now he grants us the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through loss uh, that's number one incredible healing incredible deliverance incredible manifestation of the delivering saving faith and healing in our lives now we come to number two number two impaired sight perfected through thy faith you see everything is anchored on faith look at mark chapter 10 verse 52 and jesus said unto him if you are there that day that's what he'll say to you and as you are here today and christ is here that's the same thing he's saying to you and jesus said unto him go thy way you are going happy as you go back tonight in jesus name go thy way you're going smiling rejoicing because what you came for you are going to get it tonight in jesus name go thy way thy faith you see that thy faith has made thee whole thy faith has made thee whole you want to receive your sight just accept just believe you want to receive your hearing just accept just believe you want to receive the freedom in your joints so that you can stand up you can sit down you can walk you can move you can run and all those things that used to hook you and make you so tired in your heart because of the problem everything is going tonight go thy way thy faith has made thee whole and immediately he received his sight immediately he received a sight when are you going to receive your sight now immediately and then it says and uh, he followed jesus in the way let me read a story to you an, an interesting story in mark chapter 10 verse 46 mark chapter 10 reading from verse 46 and they came to Jericho and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people blind but Amios the son of Timaeus sat by the wayside begging the point where I'm reading this to you he was a beggar but after the Lord touched him, he didn't go back to the wayside begging again. You'll not be a beggar again. Yeah. Provision will come from heaven. Yeah. Abundance will come from heaven. Yeah. Good supply will come from heaven. After the Lord touched him, you see, when Christ touches us, the past is gone. All those past experiences, by the wayside or in the night club or by the prostitute's 
Shimba, all that is gone. And every sin of the past will get out of your life tonight in Jesus' name. And they were told that he was begging by the wayside. Look at verse 47. In verse 47, and when he had heard, that's the word again, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And you have heard tonight, and faith has now come to your heart. Faith has now come to my heart. See it for yourself. And so it says, when she, when she had heard that Jesus of Nazareth was passing by, he cried, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Mercy. You receive mercy tonight. Look at verse 48. In verse 48, and many charged him that he should hold his peace. Hold your peace. What does that mean? It's a keep quiet. When you said it once, that's enough. Keep quiet. You see, there are people around you that may think the way you are saying amen. That's too loud. They look at you like this. They say, can you keep quiet? Would you say amen next time? I said, will you say amen next time? <laughs> say it now. Yeah. You know that man, he said, you are not blind. I am blind. You don't have my problem. I have a problem. I'm suffering here. And by the wayside, some days are good, some days are bad. And as I sit here, begging, begging, sometimes I don't get anything. And this is my chance. That Jesus, the healer, Jesus, the deliverer, Jesus, the miracle worker, is passing by. And you tell me to shut up? No, I will not shut up. You will not shut up. And so we're told that he, he cried the more, a great deal, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Verse 49, and Jesus stood still. He will stand still for you. Until you are healed, he'll still be there waiting for you. Until all your sorrow, all your sickness is gone, He'll still be there waiting for you. And tonight, when we say amen, the Lord will be waiting for you to say, rise up now. Open your eyes now and hear now because he will not leave until he shows that mercy unto you. He stood still and he commanded him to be called. And he called the blind man saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise. He calleth thee. He's calling you tonight. He'll call you to salvation. And when he calls your name, you raise up that hand and say, Yes, I'm here. I'm a sinner. I need salvation. I'm sick. I need healing. I'm bound. I'm oppressed. I need deliverance. I'll call you tonight. In verse 50, in verse 50, and he casting away his garment. That was the badge of his blindness. He rose and came to Jesus. That's all you need to do tonight. Come to Jesus and salvation will come. Come to Jesus and freedom from your sin. All the sins that bound you that you couldn't ever be free from come to Jesus and that yoke is broken tonight in Jesus' name. You've been bound, attached, afflicted, 
and the affliction walking all over the body and in the brain and everywhere. You're almost removing your clothes and going to the street. Come to Jesus tonight. Insanity will vanish away. And so he came to Jesus in verse 51. Verse 51. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. My sight. Other people have their sight, and they see she has her sight, and she sees he has her own, and she sees, I want mine. You receive your own sight. You receive the brightness when you open your eyes. After the mention of the name of Jesus, your eyes will be open. You will see. You look at the lights here and you see everyone and they will not, they will not irritate your eyes. That I might receive my sight. Look at verse 52. In verse 52, and Jesus said, unto him go thy way who will lead me as i go my way will you give me peter to hold my hand and lead me no, you don't need that anymore because you've got your side i said you've got your side go thy way and then it says that thy faith has made thee whole thy faith Thy faith, thy faith has made thee whole. Then it says, and immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Immediately he received his sight and he followed Jesus in the way. All we need to do is ask him, James chapter 1, I'm reading from verse 6. In James chapter 1, verse 6, it says, But let him ask in faith. That's all. Let him ask in faith. Not with feeling, in faith. Let him ask in faith, not in fear. Let him ask in faith, not asking and doubting. Let him ask in faith. Everything we ask in faith tonight, the Lord will give. It will solve your problem. It will break that yoke away from your life. And all those things that, you know, the, the belly is swollen as if you are pregnant. That thing will come down tonight. Elephant tears in the legs. That thing will come down tonight in Jesus' name. Because we're told, let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. You will not waver. I will not waver. And if you and I can agree as touching anything that we ask the Lord tonight, the Lord will do it. I see miracle coming your way there. I see healing coming your way there. Because whatsoever we ask in faith, we receive. Because he said, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. The door of heaven, the door of miracle, is open to you tonight. Because it says, for everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be open. He said, if you being evil know how to give good things to your children, how much more shall your father who is in heaven give good things, forgiveness, good things, healing, good things, salvation, good things, eternal life, good things. How much more can your Father who is in heaven give good things to them 
that ask him. Thank God you are receiving yours tonight. Look at number three. Number three, we're looking at instantaneous salvation. Possible through thy faith. Thy faith. Salvation. Salvation. Possible through thy faith. We're looking at Luke chapter 7 verse 50. And he said unto the woman, Thy faith has saved thee. Go in peace. Uh, have you noticed in all these scriptures we're reading for healing? Thy faith has made thee whole. For sight, thy faith has made thee whole. Now for salvation, thy faith has saved thee. Go in peace peace. Who is this woman? And look at verse 37. In verse 37 it says, and behold a woman in the city, which was a sinner. She didn't have salvation before coming to Christ. You cannot have salvation before coming to Christ because he is the only one that gives us salvation. The salvation made in heaven and the salvation that comes from heaven only when you come to Christ will you have that salvation. She was a sinner and when she knew that Jesus was at meet in the Pharisee's house, what well, told she brought an alabaster box of ointment. Look at verse 38. In verse 38 we're told about this woman that she stood at his feet behind him weeping. She felt she was a great sinner. She had sorrow for her sin and for the shame of her life she was weeping. Have you ever been sorrowful for your sin? Have you ever thought my sin nailed Christ to the cross, to the tree? And because he cried, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? He was sorrowful. He said, I thirst. And it was your sin that took him to the cross. If you did not sin, if I did not sin, if Adam and Eve did not sin, if the world did not sin, he would not have suffered on the cross of Calvary. And you look at the suffering and he says, look at my suffering. Has anybody ever suffered like this? And you realize the magnitude of your sin. The nail that went through his hand and the spear that went through his heart because of your sin. And you cannot think of that and be laughing and be joking. You cannot think of that and go back to those sins anymore. If you do, you are thoughtless. You are not thinking. You are not seeing the effect and the impact of your sin on Christ. That, that's why she was weeping because of her sin. And you know what the Bible says? The Bible says that was sorrow. I read it to you. But look at verse 47. In verse 47, it says, Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins which are many, not only fornication, more, not only adultery, more. Not only lies, more. Not only tempting kind of dress that brought the men to want to defile her and to go against the watch of God. Her many sins she remembered. How many people she had lured away into evil, into fleshly act. And she said that innocent man that innocent merchant, that innocent religious man, 
I made him to forget his religion, and I sold my body unto him. She remembered all that, and because of that, she wept. She cried. And Jesus said, Your sins, which are many, are forgiven thee. Forgiveness has come tonight. I said, Forgiveness has come tonight. Look at verse 48. In verse 48, and he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven thee. You didn't say amen to that one. And when he forgives your sin, there's peace of heart. There's assurance that if you died now, because you have the word of Jesus for it, that your sins are forgiven, that's after repentance. If you are laughing and sinning, there's no forgiveness. If you are sinning and you are planning how to do more of it, there's no forgiveness and there's no salvation. But when you are sorrowful for the sin, when you say, I am sorry, and you sincerely mean that, that you are sorry, then he says, thy sins are forgiven. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 7. Verse 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 7. Verse 10. For godly sorrow walketh repentance to salvation. Godly sorrow. Godly sorrow. What's godly sorrow? You see that you are ungodly. Your life has been shameful, sinful. And then you come to the Lord, you say, How sorry I am that I went astray. That I did bad, bad things. I went against the commandment of the Lord. Not only once or twice. Not only one day. But day after day. And you have godly sorrow. For godly sorrow walketh Repentance to salvation. Not to be regretted of. Not to be repented of. But the sorrow of the world walketh death. Now you realize your sin, you're sorrowful, you come to the Lord, and you want its forgiveness. Forgiveness will come. Salvation will come. Look at Romans chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 9. Romans chapter 10. Reading from verse 9. It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. You confess that he and he alone can bring forgiveness to you and salvation to you that a thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Amen salvation tonight thou shalt be saved in verse 10 in verse 10 for what the heart man believes unto righteousness we don't believe into corruption we don't believe going back to sin we believe and we believe unto righteousness if you are truly saved there will be righteousness in your life thereafter. If you are truly born again, born anew, born afresh, born from heaven, new life will come to you and you are saved, you believe unto salvation. But the people who are stealing before, and they say, I believe, I believe, and they believe unto stealing, more stealing. There's no salvation there. The people that were living, immoral lives before and he said I believe I believe and they go back into that immorality again there's no salvation there man believes unto righteousness and what the mouth confession is made unto salvation have you seen that salvation and righteousness they go together and what God has joined together 
let no man, let no preacher put asunder. The brother say, well, you're saved, you're saved. But pastor, I'm still stealing, you're saved. I'm still committing adultery, you're saved. No, what God has joined together, let no overseer, bishop, let no one put asunder. He puts righteousness and salvation together. With your mouth, you confess unto salvation and with your heart, you believe unto righteousness. And now, righteousness is coming to you. The moment you are sorrowful for your sin, you confess, you forsake, you look up to the Lord and you say, you are my Savior, my only Savior, that moment. It will tell you in your heart, your sins, which were many, are all forgiven. Amen. Amen. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. Forgiveness now is very near to you. Salvation is very near to you. Here at the Alpha location, there, online, anywhere you are, the forgiveness is ready now from Christ. As you turn away from your sin and you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. As it's about and eyes are closed, you want this forgiveness and you mean it from the depth of your heart. And you're turning away from all the sins of your life. Whether people know it or not, you are the only one that know it in your heart. And you say, I want forgiveness. I want salvation. I want my name to be written in the book of life in heaven. Wherever you are, God is waiting for you. Raise up that hand. God bless you there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Raise up the hand on my left, on my right, at the center, at the back. Anywhere you are, you are hearing the sound of my voice. Faith has come to you that he will forgive your sin right here. Online, anywhere you are, you are listening over the radio, you are watching over the television, or any gadget you have, you are hearing. Raise up your hand there and say, Lord, I come. I want your forgiveness, I want your salvation, and I want a new life. I don't want a no so salvation. I don't, I don't want superficial salvation. I want real salvation that comes with forgiveness and freedom and righteousness. Raise up that hand. As you are raising up the hand, stand up anywhere you are. You are standing up, standing up for Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Anywhere you are, you want real salvation. Without this salvation, we cannot get to heaven. Without this salvation, we'll perish for forever and ever but you see i've heard the word and the word is the word of christ and i want the forgiveness and the freedom and the salvation and the righteousness now that he will give to you as a gift from heaven you raise up behind you stand up and while you are standing there tell the lord i'm sorry for the sins i've committed i'm sorry for that drunkenness I'm sorry for the smoking. I'm sorry for the fighting. I'm sorry for the adultery. I'm sorry for the fornication. I'm sorry for those evil things I have done. I'm sorry for even luring other people away from righteousness to righteousness. I'm sorry for the bad influence of my life. Keep on standing. Tell the Lord and tell him, as you give me the grace and the salvation, I will not go back into them anymore. And the Lord will take you for your word. And you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I'll pray with you now. Keep on standing. Keep on raising the hand. And keep your heart for Christ. You have now come to Christ. And you don't want to go back to sin or Satan or darkness or evil anymore. Father, we well, thank you.
We thank you because you have given us the word. You said, come out from among them, and I will receive you, and I will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and my daughters, Say the Lord. Fulfill your word in every heart, every life, here tonight, and online, and everywhere, in Jesus' name. Forgive all those sins they have confessed and forsaken. Give them, Lord, eternal life. Give them salvation. Give them righteousness. And give them the grace to go now and sin no more. Thank you, Lord. Let the joy of salvation fill their heart. We believe you have answered. We believe you have done it. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Please keep on standing now. I can't sell us out there. They'll, you know, have some details from you as they speak to you. Listen and do what and give them the information they are asking. We'll call on our state uh, pastor, state of us here, uh, to come and lead us now before we come back to pray for the sick. Amen. If you are happy, let me hear you. Amen. This is a wonderful thing that has happened. That the Lord has seen your faith and forgiven your sin. So since you are free and you are happy, please give the counselors correct details. Your name, full name, your phone number, the address that can be used to locate you. The essence is to help you stand. Follow you up. Ensure that the miracle of salvation you received will remain with you. And if you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link. gckhq.org slash connect. Below your player, please visit the link and fill out the form. So we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Also, if you are listening via the radio or television and just gave your life to Christ, please send your name, phone number, and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to this number plus Two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. I take it again. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. And for those who have given their life to Christ this evening. There will be a special meeting called Lunch Hour with Jesus tomorrow by 3 p.m. at the big tent behind this classroom block. This classroom by my right, behind it, there's a big tent. That's where the Lunch Hour with Jesus will take place. So if you have given your life to Christ, please, tomorrow, three, come. The Lord will be waiting for you to bless your soul. Then, there will be a special online banquet for all those watching online who gave their lives to Christ on Sunday, next, the first coming Sunday. And the, the program will be at the regional headquarters. Our old region headquarters is 11 plus 11 stroke 12 at Ruby Street off Deco Road, Warren, Delta State. So all the other locations, please ensure that you are there to be blessed by God. Sunday 2nd will be the day for the program.
That's Sunday first, please. First September will be the day for the program. So don't miss it. On first September, Sunday, by 3 p.m., we also give you more details about it. The pastor is delighted that you have just joined. They have given your life to Christ, and they want you to grow in faith. Then the Alpha Location Banquet, like I said, will be on Sunday, 1st September, at Deeper Life Bible Church. It plots 11 stroke 12 at the Ruby Street, Worry, Delta State. Time, 3 p.m. But for those online, more details will be given to you. Cancel us. Make sure you get all the details. Be thorough while collecting the data. Let there be no mistake. And the telephone number should be 11 digit. Write in capital letters so that it will be legible for us to use the decision card to help them. Once we are through, you go to another person. If you have not been attended to, no counselor has come to you, please raise your hand and wave your hand and tell them that you are waiting for them to come and attend to you. The language class, the overflow, the other side, let's make sure that the counselors are there to assist them. So, counselors, once you are through, you signify. Let me repeat what I said. If you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link, gckhq.org slash connect. Below your player, please visit the link and fill out the form so that we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Also, if you are listening via radio or television, and you just gave your life to Christ now, please send your name, your phone number, and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to this WhatsApp number, plus 234-9154-449263. Remember, there will be a special meeting Launch hour with Jesus for all those who gave their life to Christ tomorrow by 3 p.m. And we say the launch hour will take place after this classroom by my right. There's a big tent behind the classroom. That's where the launch hour will take place. And then there will be a special online banquet for all those watching online who gave their life to Christ on Sunday. The special banquet will take place on Sunday, 1st September. More details about this will be sent to you. Our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. Then for the Alpha location, Believer's Banquet on Sunday, 1st September, will take place at Deeper Life Bible Church. Plot 11 stroke 12 at Ruby Street off Deco Road, worry, and then all the region headquarters across the state and all the nations. Time 5, 3 p.m. Time 3 p.m. Counselors, please, if you are true, can you indicate? To my left, if counselors, you are true, indicate. Center. And to my right, we are waiting for you. Now, while the counseling is going on, those who are Christians, you, you have given your life to Christ before, this is time for you to bow your head and be thanking God for what he has done in the life of these people. 
In a family, once a new baby comes, everybody will rejoice. You praise God for what God has done. And then also pray for yourself that the Lord will not pass you by. The man of God has said, whatever you came in here with will not go back with you. He has assured you that there is miracle for everybody. So pray for yourself. If you have been cancelled, after the cancelling, please join us and pray and say, God, I need double miracle. I've got one, salvation. I need another one, healing, deliverance, whatever. The Lord will not pass you by. While we are waiting for the counselors to tidy up, cancel us, if you are true, please signify. I'm waiting for your signal. To my right, center, and to my left. Cancel us if you are true, please. Indicate. Let's know. Others are praying. This is not the time to look around. This is the time for you to talk to God and say, Lord, I came here to be touched by you, to be visited by you, to be blessed by you. And very soon, the man of God will come. You know, when there is a criminal, and that criminal is invasive, difficult to arrest, the government will send DSS men to go and fish that person out. And they know how to do it. DSS will go and get that person arrested. Permit me to tell you this night, the man of God will offer DSS prayer. And that DSS prayer will arrest Whatever is troubling you in the name of sickness, disease, affliction, witches, wizard, powers of darkness, the DSS prayer will arrest them. DSS prayer is the direct, short, and simple prayer the man of God will offer tonight. And everything that has been troubling you will be arrested. Criminals, if they don't evade the arrest of DSS, SS, no sickness, no disease, no affliction will evade the DSS prayer that will be offered here tonight. That prayer will arrest that situation and grant you your heart desires. Cancel us, please. If you are true, can I see you? Indicate. Thank you. God bless you. Center here, I've seen the flag. Can I look at it the, 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 to my left? If you are true, please indicate. At the back, if you are true, indicate. To my right, if you are true, indicate. It's only the center that I've seen. To my left, please. If you are true. Thank you. At the back, I can see it. Sorry, to my right, if you are true, cancel us. Indicate. In front here, they are true. To my left at the back, they are true. To my left in the front, I'm waiting for your signal. And then to my right, I'm waiting for your signal. If you are true, please indicate. Thank you. I've seen it at the back. Then at the far back, if you are true, please indicate. Okay, thank you. I've seen it at the far back. Now is the time. The man of God is already standing to offer the DSS prayer. Let's stand and receive our DSS prayer. Amen. Your miracle, your healing, your deliverance is getting to you there right now. You will not go back home empty-handed. I believe. I believe. Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge at the mention of the name of Jesus immediately, straightway, instantaneously. 
Sickness will get away from you. We're ready now. Raise up the hand. Lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Father, in Jesus' name, you are a prayer answering God. You answer prayer for everyone, young and old, man and woman, here at the Alpha location, there at a distance. Lord, stretch forth your hand. Heal your people in Jesus' name. <laughs> Deliver the oppressed. Break every yoke. Take all the infirmity away. Take all their sicknesses away. I pray, Lord, to my right, to my left, to the back, everywhere. Touch everyone miraculously. Blind eyes be opened. Deaf ears begin to hear. Dumb tongues be loosed. Withered hand be made straight. Short leg grow out. Paralysis get out from everyone. And all the waist pain and the back pain, take everything away. Lord, I pray that whatever challenge anyone has brought, long standing problem, I pray that right here at this time, you manifest your power so great that you deliver everyone in Jesus' name. Put testimony in every mouth that what you were not able to do before, now that they are healed, now that they are delivered, they will be able to do it in Jesus' name. Let there be a performance right now manifestation of your miracle power in everyone right now confirmation confirmation you are healed you are delivered the lord has set you free in jesus name we pray praise the lord it is done check up yourself you find the sickness that was there before is no more there. It's gone. Praise the Lord.